how to engrave text with exact even thickness in SelfCAD. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to engrave text. I've actually done some other videos, but now I'm going to tackle another problem, which is how you have exact um, even thickness. So the problem could be in many cases, for example, like this, it's a hollow object. So let me first show the problem. Let's get started. I can create a text using, in this case, the text drawing. You can use some other tools like a drawing tools, but text generator is perfect for this. And I use the basic text self-cat and the standard height depth, everything is standard over here. So now I do over here, this is created text, which is in the object. Now I'm going to go to the align tool and I'm going to align it to the vase and I'm going to choose the middle and the front. So it's basically aligned over here. Actually, let's move it down a little bit. Should look nicer. Let's make it minus 20. Okay, so now this is basically aligned to this object here. And, but it's not going in exactly into the object. It's basically part of it is aligned this center, but it needs to go into the object. So what I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to scale this in, into the object. Okay, it doesn't matter how much I scale it, I'll scale it a lot. Um, the problem here is if I'm going to, this sticks in from this side, and this is a hollowed object, if you stick it in, and if you can use the basic tools, stitch and scoop, and use the difference, um, this will actually purse through the object. You can see it over here. Let's see if I can zoom into it. You can see you can look through it. It actually creates a hole, and it's perfectly from inside and outside cut out. Now, if this is what you're looking for, this is a perfect solution. Nothing uh, needs to be fixed if it's working. However, what if you wanted to cut out only from this piece and not to stick into the inside? and also with the exact precision how much you want to take it out so let's say i don't know how thick this is i can measure it but let's say it's it's thickness of 10. let's actually get a rough measurement here to get an idea what we're dealing with so if i'm doing something like this this is about 5.82 okay my lines are maybe exact straight but we get an idea it's about five and a half or five to six is the thickness on it so in this case how do i make sure it cuts out only half so what i'm going to do here is and, and the same thing could be if you have a solid object. If this is an object that's solid, let's say take an example, a cylinder. I'll take a basic cylinder and let's align the text for a moment into the cylinder. So let's take the text and I'm going to align it using the cylinder, the mesh 3, and align it to its middle, front. And now I'm just going to move it in. I already scaled it. Let's move it in like this and okay so now let's go and stitch and scoop and remove this so i'm going to remove the text so this actually creates a nice cut like this just cut out that a problem if i'm going to delete the face and manifold this will be perfectly fine but the thing is it's still not even it sticks in like parts are cutting out more than the others because the depth is going in different levels on each one uh, depending how much scale they're in basically the more the most depth is at the center and then the least here, the sections over here. So I'm going to undo this and now let me show you now the problem. How, I mean, how we solve this. Okay. So let's go back to this. Can actually go back, remove the cylinder. Okay. So I have these two objects now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the stitch and scoop intersection part. Now, if you do a union, I was just going to combine these two, which is not what you're looking for. If I do intersection part, it creates basically this. It gives me this shape cut out and it creates this. So, but then I, I need to have the vase as well. So I need to make first a copy. So I'm going to actually make a copy of, I can make a copy of both of them, doesn't matter. And I'm just going to hide this away. And now let's take these two. So I'm going to do it like this and make the intersection. And now if I combine it together with this vase, you can't actually see it because this is overlapping exactly. So I need to move this out a little bit. So I need to move it away. So let's move it by in which direction I need to move it in the blue, so the z-axis. I need to move it, let's say, by 3. So you can give it, obviously, the exact depth. But I, I didn't pay attention how thick this is. But basically, the idea here is that as long as it's not sticking out from here, and uh, maybe this was 10, I don't remember how much it was. But nevertheless, I'm also going to give it a different color so it's easier to see what's happening. And now I'm going to select these two again. And now I'm going to cut this out using, again, to remove this and here we go now we have a perfect engraving i mean obviously you can also combine them use union it will also be nicer but for engraving this is perfect and actually even kept the color so this is how you engrave in self cut in any mesh you can see from the inside 
there's nothing inside sticking out so this is perfectly fine okay i hope this video was helpful and please let me know in the comments if you want me to show anything else or if you have any other questions thanks for watching bye